There is a guy who likes to buy expensive gifts for dates. A spoiled jerk who's never worked and on my nerves he grates. Holocaust deniers are the pals he celebrates. I don't think he's an asset to the Congress. It now turns out he's not just gross, he's also quite a perv. But when his actions get the condemnation they deserve, he claims that he's the victim. Boy, he's got a lot of nerve. It's shocking that this ass is still in Congress. I'd like to say a word in his rebuke. He really makes me puke. How do you sing about a creep like Matt Gates when every hour we're finding out more muck? How do you find a word to sum up Matt Gates? A misogynist schlump, a toady for Trump, a schmuck. Seems he makes his staffers do his hair and makeup. Given the outcome, they must hate his guts. Though all of this he denies, his statements are full of lies, which makes him look guilty, no ifs, ands, or buts. Oh, how do you sing about a creep like Matt Gates when this entire story is just nuts. Seems he often got his kicks showing off nude women's pics, and the sex games he liked playing were intense. When confronted with this junk, he just says he's not a monk. Yeah, we know, but that's not much of a defense. New laws banning revenge porn, he opposes with such scorn. He says those photos should be his, come take a look. And what caused the most outrage? He preferred girls underage. He's a pedophile, a sex trafficker, a crock. Proving his crimes is ludicrously easy. He paid for sex with Cash App and Apple Pay. Proving that he's as dumb as he is sleazy. But so far the GOP says he can stay. Still, they don't seem that eager to defend him. He's even been shunned by Marjorie Taylor Greene. Ridiculous things he'll say won't make this crap go away. A girl's not a woman when she's 17. Oh, how do you sing about a creep like Matt Gates? <laughs>